you see the cut in the middle of the tree over here as a tracker you should know which animal has made this so this is what i'm going to teach you today so this cut in the tree the middle the middle of the tree is not made by human beings it is made by the elephant tusk okay elephant has the habit of removing the bark of the tree and they eat them like how we eat the varieties of the food for ourselves the same way animals also eat the different parts of the trees for their own nutrition i mean for their own needs according to the needs of them okay so what happens generally when they when they eat the bark of the tree if they get the, they get the calcium diet for themselves and apart from that these bark will help them to digest the food for themselves okay so that is why they keep on removing the bark of the tree and they eat it and because the bark will hold more of moisture in them and you know uh, they also love to chew it you know when there is a there is a scarcity of the water in the environment I mean in, the, in the area wherever they live now the interesting part about this you know the the mark i mean the the mark which has been left here this can tell us many information in the science what we, when we, generally when you do the research work we, these are called indirect signs so we are completely dependent on that and you know this gives us lot of information information like you know which which species has been which species has done this what is the diet of the animal what is the approximate age of the animal what is the gender of the animal so how do we get to know the approximate age so by looking at the height of this you know uh, the, the the mark over here this is the tusk height of an elephant so which means he is not an adult elephant it's a sub adult elephant so sub adult elephant sub adult elephant elephants could be somewhere around 16 to 20 years of age so these coming you know this is the coming into the adulthood stage for the an elephant so at this specific age the male elephants have been usually chased out from the group okay that is why you always see the tuskers you know roaming around Basically for a specific reason that is a different reason which i am not going to do, go on with that, that topic i am just teaching you how to understand that age and after that how do we understand the gender only the males have the tusk in asiatic elephants okay so that's why they have the capacity to dig inside and remove those you know uh, bark from the tree and that's how we get to know the gender of the animal and uh, you know the diet of the animal by looking at this tree we get to know okay this this, this elephant has been eating this tree okay now uh, these are the information see imagine see now we got to know what species is this we got to know what is the diet of the animal we got to know what is the uh, approximate age of the animal we got to know the gender of the animal so that is why indirect signs are very important when you walk in the forest it is very important for you to understand these signs or you know it this can be can be pug mark it can be rake mark it can be scrape mark so you know it can be anything like a body of the animal how fresh they are you know how long they could have been gone so these are the basic skills which you should know before you walk in the forest all right so this is what it is so we'll just go forward and see what else i can find for you wow i just come across with this beautiful elephant dung over here you can see the quality of the elephant dung it is like a uh, gold mine for the you know the uh, nature specifically whatever the whatever it happens in the nature happens for a reason usually elephant can eat up to almost like 200 kg per day and again it excretes almost like 100 kg per day so why is this happening you know to understand the ecology of this elephant dung you really need to understand the importance of the you know the animal itself so you need to understand the biology of the animal you need to understand the anatomy of the animal what generally happens when the elephant lays the elephant dung i mean the, the elephant dung when it falls down the first thing what happens you know a lot of nutrition will be taken over by the plants and trees the left over is always been used for the other microorganisms so there are a lot of microorganisms like you know just specifically if i have to talk on i have to, i'll be talking on the dung beetles so because now that elephant food is completely not digested food it's a half digested food we could say because 30% of the uh, uh, like i told you that elephant food is not completely digested with food which means the elephant eats so much of diversity of the plants and lot of seeds will come into the elephant dung and that will not be grinded because it's a half digested food the seed will be whole and the elephant the dung beetles they will actually kind of roll this dung they will make kind of a ball and they will rotate that along with the seed and go and deposit that in a hole Uh, if i ask you to plant the tree what is the process of planting the tree so what you generally do is you will have a pot you will put the soil into it you will put one hole and then you will put the seed inside it so, so that the tree can germinate and with the manure so who is doing the job in the forest is the question now what happens generally to so the elephant has given the product to them now the dung beetles will make a ball out of it along with the seed everything is there for a jersey to be germinated so they will roll it out they will go and deposit that in a hole and from there if one rain comes you get to see the tree coming up the sapling you know uh, coming out from that so this is how the you know the ecosystem is being set that's how the elephant is helping in terms of dispersing the seeds 
okay so nothing goes wasted in the forest unless and until we throw a plastic cover that's the kind of utilized nowadays they are actually making the paper out of these elephant dung and uh, in africa people are inhaling the smoke uh, out of these elephant dung so that they can you know cure the asthma problems for them because elephant eats almost like 231 different varieties of the plant i mean when i was actually part of an elephant research my principal investigator they have found 231 different types of vegetation in one elephant dung pile that is the diversity of the food what elephant generally eats so which means a lot of medicinal plants comes into it so probably they have kind of a thought or they they, they believe that you know if we inhale the smoke of these elephant dung but you know we might get to, we might get cured by the asthma i mean this actually has happening in the africa but we have not tested in india See what look what I have found for you. These are the deer's antlers. So now because this is a forest, it's quite common that we found these. We find these, you know, antlers very oftenly over here. So the spotted this is the antler of a spotted deer. So the spotted deer shed their antlers every year and they regrow it. So you know this process. I mean, the, this uh, falling, the shedding, and you know it's actually regrowing is there for a reason. So we need to understand there's a difference between deer's and antelopes. So the antelope will also have antlers. The deer will also have antlers. But only the deer antlers falls down. Antelope antlers will never fall down. Why? Because the antelope antlers are made out of a nail material. It is usually called as keratin. But this is made out of a bone material. So what happens when these antlers falls down naturally? This becomes a food for another animal. Okay. Now what happens? Like say, for example, uh, the porcupines. They love eating these antlers. That's why they shed down. So in the nat in the nature. whatever it happens it happens for a reason so the shedding of these antlers is for a purpose so that it can give a medicine it can be a medicine for the other animals so generally animals when they eat anything in the forest so so whatever they eat it so it also serves them as a food it also serves them as a medicine because they don't have hospitals they don't have doctors over here so this gives them the calcium then that is why only the deer's antlers will shed down because they are made of a bone material and bone is very good in terms of calcium right so that's how that that is why it is you know the the deer shed their and come to the end of a walk i'm sure that you have enjoyed the walk and i'm sure it was informative as well see the main uh, motto of this nature walk or you know the main uh, concept of this nature walk is all about to is all about to make you understand that how important the nature is without which we cannot survive